Hi everyone, Thomas here and welcome back to part 42 of my Collins Family Let's Play here on The Sims 4. So, uh, first of all, in the last episode I know I said that was part 42, but this is, uh, got mixed up. Last part was 41, this is 42. Um, you know, it's just a mess like normal. So, um, today we're going to get started. I think this is going up into 2017. I'm actually recording this on the 27th of December 2016, but this is probably going up sometime in January 2017. Just because there's a lot of videos and I just want to get some pre-recorded whilst I'm still on my winter Break. So um, we're here back with Avery and Casper in their house here in Oasis Springs. Um, this isn't really a very expensive place. It was all they could afford. Um, you know, Anya has it's been in a, a bad financial position recently, uh, but they've managed to raise a little bit more money for Casper to be able to um, move out. And Avery had actually just moved in with them, but luckily um, she's moved out as well because Anya just wanted some more space too. Um, so today we're going to get uh, continuing with um, this household. Um, they don't really seem to be that happy at the minute. I mean, Avery's a little bit tired already. Um, they had like the house one part yesterday, and you know she was a little bit. Um, I don't know, a little bit unsure about it because it was all like all the Collins family people were there and none of the Stanford people who, where she comes from. Well, Sanford. I keep saying Stanford. It's Sanford. Um, so she actually has work tomorrow. Casper has work later tonight. If you didn't know, we gave them jobs yesterday. She is in the music, uh, well, the entertainment career, hopefully to go on to a musician because she actually wants to be a DJ, which, you know, Casper's really passionate about helping her to get there. And Casper's actually joined the crime career, crime career. No, wait, is that the, no, criminal career. I thought that didn't sound right. Uh, so I got him to join that because, you know, he was a little bit mischievous as a kid. So I just thought it'd be a good idea for him to uh, join that. So we've got a couple of things we have to do because um, since he's at work tonight, <laughs> tonight I'm going to get him to do his daily tasks and we'll worry about Avery's a little bit later. So let's continue. So uh, we've got to get him to reach a level two of the mischief skill. Mischief? Mischief? I don't know. <laughs> skill. Um, so we're going to have to do a couple of interactions. Now, I think I do have this hand buzzer thing set at that murder mod thing, so I'm not going to do that. Um, so I'm just going to do a couple of mischievous things, which, I mean, probably Avery doesn't want to hear at the minute. Uh, you know, because their relationship still is a little bit, oh, a little bit bad at the minute. Um, I don't know, it's just a little bit, ugh. I don't know. And as you can see, their relationship's going down already after doing one mischievous interaction, which probably isn't a good idea, but if he wants to progress in his career, that's the stuff he's going to have to do. Um, so let's start a rumour. Let's just do a couple of things that we can actually do at the minute. I suppose we'll get more, you know, options when we, you know, get a little bit bigger in this uh, skill and career and things. Um, and let's do this and see how this goes. I don't know what lying about career is going to do because I'm pretty sure she knows what our career is. And they both haven't started their careers yet. So let's get them to do that. Um, let's see if we can reach level two. I don't know where he is at now. So we're about halfway there. I think what would be good to do is actually... Um, you know, maybe go out of the house a little bit because we have been stuck here for a couple of uh, days now. And I mean, it isn't the most exciting thing being stuck in this place. So I think we should go out. Um, what should we do? It's about 12 p.m. He has work at 8 p.m. Oh, I don't know. Let's just go back to Anya and Richard's house and see how they're getting on. We'll just get them to travel there and uh, see what they're doing. Okay, so they're here back at Richard and Anya's house. I'm going to get them to knock on the door. I don't think that will work today, which would be good. Uh, so let's head inside. Um, has he knocked on the door? It's taken a while for it to load. There we go. Okay. Um, so I don't see... And, oh, there's Richard. I don't know where Anya is. Um, oh, she's just sitting over here reading a book. Okay. So I'm actually going to get Casper to come over here and uh, say hello. Um, I forgot to take poses out again, so I'm not going to actually get them to hug because then that'll just cause the big cycle of poses. So I'm just going to get them to come and talk, see how they're getting on. Anya was a little bit worried about Casper moving out because she was a little bit unsure about the re <laughs> relationship that him and Avery have. Um, so, you know, she's been worried about how they're going to manage and if it's going to be successful or not. But, you know, she is happy to see him again. Um, and, you know, Casper's really, like, happy to be back here because I think he's struggling a little bit by living by himself. Um, oh, my God, I totally forgot. I've got the door locked. So she's going to have to come outside. Um... Is she going to come out here? Because I locked this door in there. Because what happens was, um, when people come over for, like, household events, all they do is go straight for, like, the computer or just go upstairs or somewhere away that you don't want them to do. So it's really annoying. So I lock all the doors normally. <laughs> so when we're visiting them, we can't actually go in. Um, so why they stand inside each other, I have no idea. Let's just uh, talk for a little bit about how they're getting on. And like I said, Anya was a little bit worried about Richard and how, you know, he's uh, getting on by living by himself because he hasn't really done anything for himself. It's always Anya and Richard and people like that who have done stuff for him. He's been very privileged as a kid, so, you know, it is hard for him. But I'm sure he got used to it after a while. Um, okay, so 
what else can we be doing here? Just catching up. Let's go and see uh, Richard as well. Is he going to come in here? Yes, he was. Great. If he's just standing there looking a little bit lost. I think she's getting a little bit tired about not seeing her own family. So I think that's something that she needs to do. Or maybe even go out for a couple of drinks or something. Maybe with a friend. Because, you know, when... Well, which... Well... Oh, my God. <laughs> Can't speak. Um, He... Casper is going out to work a little bit later. So what we'll be able to do is actually go and... um. Uh, go out tonight, which would be good because she doesn't have work till tomorrow So we'll be able to go out and have a couple of drinks and just relax a little bit So he's just gonna catch up with Richard. They're both just talking about how um, he's getting on Which is great. Uh, so let's just take a couple of screenshots They'll just tell him about things that's been happening in the new house and problems that they've been having And as you can see they both look a bit shocked about the story that he's telling them <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so I think that's enough for there. I think he wants to go and see his little brother as well, Curtis. Um, if he's up here, yeah, he's just sleeping. So let's go ahead and uh, talk to him a little bit. And uh, Rock makes silly face. Should we age him up? I think we should actually. Let's go. Let's do that. Um, because I want to see how he looks. Actually, mm, oh, I don't know if we should do that or not. Oh God. Okay, let's just do it. I want to see how he looks. Um, the CC will probably. Oh, he can't even get out of here. Oh well. I think we'll leave that for another day. We can maybe do that in the next part, actually. So I'm going to get them to head back home. Um, and Avery seems to be in a bad mood. She seems to be a bit uncomfortable. Oh, she's bursting for the toilet. So I guess we'll fix up her needs once we get back. Okay, so we're back at the house now and Avery needs to fix up her needs. Casper decided to stay a little bit longer. Avery just, you know, wanted to get out of the place. I don't know why she just felt so uncomfortable being there. Um, I think it's maybe because of the suspicions that Anya had and how Avery kind of thought that, oh, she actually does have some suspicions about me. Whether or not they are actually, you know, true and that she should be suspicious or not. But, you know, it, it has been a little bit awkward for Avery to be around Anya once Anya started getting these thoughts and stuff. So... I'm going to get her to take a shower because, uh, you know, she seems to be, her hygiene's a little bit low and she does want to go out tonight as well. Um, I'm going to bring Casper uh, back because I think he's been there for long enough today. Uh, let's see how his needs are. Yeah, he needs a shower as well. So I'll get him to do that once Avery's uh, finished there. Uh, let's see if we've got anything more we can do before he has to head off to work. Um... Let's see, so he's got to do some more mischievous interactions, and that's pretty much it, so that's okay. What do we have to do for her? We've got to get her to write jokes or practice music, okay. So that'll be actually a nice thing for her to do, uh, but we don't really have any instruments or anything, so I'm actually going to do that now. Um, what should we get as an instrument? Probably a guitar, I think that'll be best. So where would this be under? Probably the this bit, indoor activities. Is this the right one? Is this skills? I don't know. Wait, why is the thing not coming up? Hobbies and skills, and this is indoor activities. So, uh, probably under this one. Uh, we need to find a guitar that they can have. So, this one is a little bit expensive, but I'm sure once, you know, she progresses in this career and things, um, it will be all worth it. Uh, I don't know where to put this. There isn't really a whole lot of space in this house, actually. I think over here will be the best place. So, let's just put it there. Okay, great. And now she can go and practice that, which she'll do a little bit later. Actually, you know what? Let's go and get her to do that now. Um, so then, you know, it's fine for uh, later. So she doesn't have to do it tomorrow. Because um, I have a feeling she'll be coming in a little bit later tonight. He doesn't get off until 3 a.m. So and hopefully Casper won't be getting suspicious because, you know, she'll be back by then. Um, so with, I think we should... Well, she should be turning the other way because she's at a bit of an awkward angle here. Um, but I'm actually going to get a screenshot here in case I have it for the thumbnail or anything. Um... I wish those blue lines weren't in the way. They seem to be like glitching, those blue lines, actually. Um, okay, so let's take a screenshot here. I think I've already got one, but, you know, I like to take a couple just in case. Okay, so I've got to get... Um, wait, why is he sad? Oh, he's missing his family? Oh, no. Oh, damn. Well, I suppose it was good for him to go back and see them. Um, okay, so let's get him to take a shower and then I guess we could go and do some more mischievous interactions with her and that's pretty much it. So there isn't really a whole lot left to do so I'm going to um, pause the recording here and I'll meet you back a little bit later once Avery decides to go out and Casper's went to work. Okay, so we've just arrived here at the Rattlesnake Juice Bar. It's just somewhere close to home. You know, she does want to have a little bit of fun, but she is a little bit tired and just a little bit bored of everything, so she didn't want to have to travel too far. Um, so, oh, Andrew's actually here. Uh, this is um, Zoe, you know, Anya's friend. That's uh, her husband, actually. So I'm going to get him to, uh, well, she can go and talk to him for a bit, I suppose. Like just a friendly introduction. Uh, maybe go and get a drink as well and just sit down. Um, okay, so... 
Let's see, what's our favourite drink? I don't know what this is. I don't know if it actually is, like, a favourite drink. I don't know how, like, they think of their, like, why is it their favourite drink, if you know what I mean. Uh, but, or maybe it just changes every time. I don't really know. So the snow mod, it does look very strange here on Oasis Springs. But let's suppose we can just ignore that for now. Um, okay, so there isn't really a whole lot of people here. It's still a little bit early. Um, who is this that just came in? I thought I recognised him from somewhere. Uh, is this Pablo, I think his name is? I can't remember. Well, sorry, my camera's going all over the place. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but I am using this. Sims 3 camera. I'm just starting to get used to it a little bit more. It is really great for this tilt feature as I'm doing right now. Um, I really love that that the Sims 4 camera doesn't have. Uh, oh god, <laughs> did you hear my voice there? <laughs> um, but you know, it is a really <laughs> useful feature. So I'm going to get her to introduce herself to a couple more people here. I don't know who this person is. It looks like an interesting character. Is that Tetsu? I don't know. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't know how to pronounce his name. I guess you can say hello to uh, pa or oh, Pal Palo. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but I'll get to give him here. I mean, no, <laughs> him. I was right the first time, then I cracked myself to something wrong, and then. So, <laughs> give a friendly introduction to him. I'm literally like a mess in every single my LP episodes. Um, so, it looks like it's Alien Night here. I think I did see a notification up here, but I didn't read it. Uh, let's see. Um, it is Happy. Oh, it is Happy Hour. So, we could get a, a, um, a thingy drink, a Happy Hour drink, because that'll probably be useful. Uh, wait, so it is Happy Hour and Ghost Night? Okay, I don't know. <laughs> uh, well, happy hour must be over then. So there is a lot of ghosts here, which I mean, probably not something that she wanted to, um, you know, be around. Oh, why is Summer Holiday dead? Um, okay. <laughs> oh, she's an elder. Oh, God. It's because I was in, like, an another game save the other day and, like, I recognised her. I was like, oh, okay, never mind. Anyway, let's move on. So I don't know who this person is. Looks like a Caliente. No, it's... Uh, I don't know who that person is. So there isn't really a whole lot going on here. So she just kind of had a fail night here. She was actually hoping to maybe meet somebody new because, you know, she um, she's a little bit unsure about the relationship that she has with Casper and she doesn't know if it's going to work out. So she thinks that she might be able to take this hours of work as an advantage for him because at night time, she's, he's going to be out until like all hours. So she can do whatever I want, whatever she wants. I mean, oh my God. Um, So, you know, I think this might be a good idea for her to be able to get out meeting new people. Hopefully not being unfaithful to Richard, you know, but I don't know. We just have to wait and see. So... There isn't really a whole lot here to do, so what I'm going to do is actually get her to go over to her um, other family's house, her, like where she came from, and go and visit them because, you know, she was really, really family orientated and she doesn't really get to see them a whole lot, so I think it'd be nice for her, her to go and see them. Um, so they live in this house, the positioning of the house is all weird because of... Um, the type of lot it's on, but, it, I mean, it does fit there. Anyway, I'm not too bothered about that. They do actually live next door, or on the same neighbourhood. Oh my god, what time I just scared me there. <laughs> um, as, you know, um, Anya and Richard, so... She might see them as well. Anyway, let's go and uh, I'll meet you there. Okay, so we arrived here at um, her parents' house. And um, for some reason, I don't know why, but she doesn't have to knock on the door. Hmm, that's weird. Wait, why is it doing that? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, well, we'll just go in then. <laughs> Well, I normally ask you to like knock on the door, but I didn't do it this time. Oh well, so I'm going to get her to come in here and say hello to her mother as well. Uh, no, she's not going off to bed. Please don't go off to bed. No, don't go off to bed. No, don't go off to bed. <laughs> so I'm going to get her to come over here and just gossip and just talk to her a little bit. And mother's a little bit worried as well about Avery because, you know, she had the same uh, uh, thing going on with her as well. How, you know, oh my God, they're doing poses. Really? I don't have time for that. Um, oh, we've still got this in. Oh, we should actually take this with us if we can. Um, I don't know if this was a portable one, but you can't actually. Oh, damn. I don't know if you remember, but Casper gave um, Avery this as a present for her birthday or something. I can't exactly remember what, but um, wait, this is kind of loud. I think we should turn the music off because I can't hear that properly. Anyway, um, so this was a, this DJ table was a present off Casper a little while ago because uh, you know Casper's really really passionate about Avery and reaching her long time dream, lifetime dream, I should say. Um, so you know. <laughs> She got it for that, but she's actually forgotten to take that with her. So I think I'll have to go into Manage Worlds and get that. Uh, so let's go and play cards with her sister over here and just, you know, just say hello and catch up a little bit and they can talk over cards or whatever game that was. I can't exactly remember. Yeah, play a card game. Uh, so let's go and do that quickly before, because I have to end the episode in a minute. Can they, Why should just stand there? Oh, it's not going to do this thing where she just stands there for hours and hours and hours and not doing anything. Is this an actual joke? Come on. 
Okay, there we go. <laughs> so, she's playing cards with her sister. Uh, she seems to be a little bit happy now that she's back home, which is great because she seems to not be in a good situation at the minute. But she doesn't want to, you know, tell her mum that she's not in a good uh, position because, you know, she was worried to start with about Avery moving off and living by herself with somebody that maybe Avery doesn't know too well. Uh, but, you know, I think she'll be able to get used to to Casper and hopefully have a good relationship with him so I really hope you enjoyed this episode if you did please make sure you leave a like comment share and subscribe if you haven't let me know in the comment section down below about what you think should happen next in this LP or if you have any other further ideas for this channel then also leave them down below in the comment section so that's it I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all next time bye